Okay, good afternoon. I wanted to show you a little trick today that might save you a big headache. I have a couple of DVDs laying around that belonged to uh, one of the kids when they were out at the college. One of them was damaged real bad, and then I found another one that was damaged real bad. And they wouldn't read, you couldn't copy them, they would error out. And so I watched some YouTube videos on some ways that you can try to salvage the disc, maybe to at least where you can get to where you can copy it onto your hard drive which you should do if you're able to save a uh, you know, damaged disc at all. So <clears throat> what I have here is I have a damaged disc. So I'll show you the process that you can do. Now I use, to clean them off with, I use denatured alcohol. If you don't have denatured alcohol, get yourself some kind of Windex. You can use that. Spray it. Paper towel and I clean it off real good. Okay, now you're either going to have minor scratches, moderate, or severe. If they're severe, I'll show you something you can try before you throw it out. Now, if they're mild, you can just simply use toothpaste. So you just put a little toothpaste on it, like this. Fold up a paper towel a bunch of times. And go all around it like this. It doesn't matter how much of a mess you make. And it's toothpaste is like a mild abrasive. And you'll see videos that say go like this. That's how the data is read. That's not true. You can just go in circles like this all the way around it. Or I find it not to be true. I don't want to say that. I'll get a bunch of bad comments. <clears throat> anyway, this is how I do it. You just go right around this and just keep going. You're not going to over buff it. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And do that for a while. And then when it's totally done, or then when you're totally done buffing it, turn around with a clean towel. And take it off. Get as much off of it as you can, all the way around, with that towel. Okay, then turn around and use your Windex again. And clean it really good. You don't want any more smudging on there. If you see the smudging, another shot of the Windex. Keep going. It'll come off. Might take you a couple times doing this, but it'll come off. Okay, when you have it good and clean, let it sit for a little bit and air dry, and then just go over it again with a paper towel. You can tell by looking at it in the light. You get all these marks off of there. Okay, then go try it. Now, let's say that it doesn't work still. Let's say that your scratches are worse than that. Okay, you can use a little bit of water or some kind of a spray, lightly spray it. Now these are if there's moderate or severe scratches now. Lightly spray it with a little bit of water. And I use 2000 grit or 2500. This is 2500. I would probably stick with the 2500. Other videos say you can use some of the coarser grits. I wouldn't do that. I mean, you just have to rub a little bit more with the 2500 grit. You can get it at an auto supply store or hardware store. And you get this wet and then you go over it in that circular pattern and just keep doing it, keep doing it. Don't worry about it, just keep going over and over and over it. When you're done, wipe it dry again. Okay, and you're gonna see all these heavy scratches on there. Uh, this is what I did today, okay. So I got that done and then I have, again, it's from down at the auto supply store. It's called Plastex. Okay, so you've sanded it real good and you can still see some deep scratches in there. Now, the other thing, if you didn't want to sand it, or even if you did and you want to try it, I use rubbing compound. You just put a few drops on here, <coughs> work it in real good all the way around. 
Just keep working it in, working it in, working it in. Yes, you've already sanded it with 2500, but mine was severely scratched. And I didn't have anything to lose because I was going to throw it away anyway. So, I sanded it with a 2500, then I put a little bit of that rubbing compound and I rubbed it in all over the disc. I let it dry and I took it off. Now the disc is going to look scratchy and super hazy. That's okay. Okay, so we get it real clean again with the Windex. I switched over to Plastex. You use these on headlights of cars and things to remove super fine scratches. So, in one spot I kept scrubbing and scrubbing at it and it started to get lighter and lighter, but I could tell it was going to take a while. So I went and I got my drill and I put like a mandrel or whatever you have laying around a piece of wood and a dowel here. I folded a paper towel over and I used the zip tie. Okay, so then what you could do is I turned around, just like I will now. I put some of that stuff on there just like that. It doesn't matter. You're not going to overdo it. Put whatever you want on there. Hold it on down. Hold it down. Now you might have to do that for a while because if it was heavily scratched and marred still from the rubbing compound and the sandpaper, that's okay. Concentrate in different areas and I figured I'm going to throw it away anyway. So I might as well go extreme and try anything I can to salvage it. So by using that buffing mandrel with a paper towel folded, I didn't have to sit there and scrub like this by hand all day. So. I just kept working those areas. I would add more. I kept working them until I got it like this. Now when you're done, shoot it again with the Windex. Not going to hurt anything. Clean up any residue or whatever's on there. Now, it didn't get out 100%, but it got out almost all of them. I only see oh, a few super light ones, nothing real bad. I have other discs that play fine that have more scratches than this. So these are just a few really light ones. Now, if I still wanted to keep putting that Plastex on there and I wanted to keep buffing it with my little power buffing drill, I could eventually get those out too, but I thought, hey, this is pretty good where it is. Let's go try it. Let's just see if it works. Okay, we're back in front of my computer now, and I have a large screen right here so we can see how this works. This is the disc that we polished up. So let's recap for a minute. You can clean it, use toothpaste, kind of uh, buff it on there, take it off, clean it with Windex. That's if there's really light scratches, and then come try it. This disc was damaged more than that. So, like I said, I was going to throw it away and I went a little extreme. I cleaned it and then I turned around and I used 2500 grit wet dry sandpaper. Like I said, you can get it at Auto Supply or anywhere like that. I buffed it all over with that in circles, wiped it off. It looked real scratchy, real hazy. <laughs> I turned around, excuse me, and I went over it with rubbing compound. Um, it's a step you see in a lot of videos that people don't do, but I used it anyway. It got out a lot of scratches, but it still left it real hazy and real just funky looking. Then I cleaned it and I used the Plastex. And I used that mandrel and that little buffing wheel that I had on there. And I just kept buffing it, buffing it. It probably, I shortened the video, but it probably took me somewhere around 30 minutes. Now, you can clean it off with alcohol. Or clean it off with Windex. Most people don't have, you know, denatured alcohol sitting around in a container, so use Windex. Clean it off real good. I let it air dry, and I wiped it one more time with a clean paper towel. This is where we are now. So let's put it in. Pause this for just a sec while I get it loaded up. Now what I do on mine to check it is I go down and I go to this PC brings it up it shows the DVD in the drive now I use power DVD 10 
Okay, and this is showing somewhere in the end, so let's go back to the beginning. And it's working. So I skip along through here just to check it to make sure. On the last time I did this, it started to hang on me and it aired out. This time after the buffing, it's not doing that. So I just bounce it around like this. Okay, now it seems like it's going to play through okay. Okay, so what I do next, I create a folder, wherever you want to. Call it whatever you want. Let's go back to this PC. I right click, I put copy. And I come back to here and I right click and I go to paste. This is the true test on whether or not you saved it because if it if it's error free and you don't have any marks in it that'll hang it up, it will transfer that entire video off onto your computer. Now you've saved it. I'll put a link below as soon as I can for a website that I have that has lots and lots of tips and tricks. You know, you can find handy around the house, but you know, for now, give me a thumbs up and click subscribe. I'll do more of these if you enjoyed them. I appreciate you watching it and thank you very much. Everybody have a good day.